There are trees that become even more powerful after being struck by lightning oh, to the really? point where they may have even evolved to attract lightning strikes. Uh, oh, oh, I was going to do a, oh, it doesn't okay. kill you, makes you stronger, but actually, no, like, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, yes. They tracked what was happening to 93 trees that got struck by lightning in a tropical forest in Panama. Oh. So most of them die after a lightning strike. Okay. And the ones that survived, a lot of them weren't doing well mm. either. <laughs> but... Nine of the trees were a species called Dipteryx oleifera. All nine survived, even though the trees around them were fried. Holy. What's even cooler, though, is when these trees were struck by lightning, it wiped out three quarters of vines that were infesting them. And then they went, okay, let's, let's go broader. They went out and looked at all of this species across the whole forest. And they found over the past 40 years that the trees around this species was about 50% more likely to die than other trees in the forest. Ah. So if you're a tree living next to one Don't of these... Don't live next to one of these guys. You're 50% more likely to die over f the last 40 years. And they then used drones to 3D model the forest and found that these trees are about four metres taller than their nearest neighbours on average. Oh, my oh, God. Wow. Probably because the lightning kills the trees around them. But then that also may Makes be an sense. evolutionary feedback loop where these trees have actually evolved to knock out the trees around them, be taller, which means they get hit again with lightning. Yeah. And then they get <laughs> knock out the trees around them again. Yeah. And then also their vines, I'm assuming. That's and the, the other vines. thing. And, and, vines. and take Critically out the vines. Critically take out all the vines. Right.